Hi, Beth Carson here with video number two in a series of four videos on travel psychology with a focus on marketing and how you can get more heads and beds. If you haven't seen video number one, there's a link for it below. Go ahead and click on that because we're going to be referring to some of the things that we learned last time with dopamine. And I kind of left you hanging at the last one, so I'm so glad you're here so you can know the rest of the story. We talked about how the dopamine levels drop like a stone after their highest level when they're putting in the credit card number and then after that, after they press submit or pay for my vacation, they sort of have this feeling of what have I done? That was a lot of money. Um, and I have a way you can counteract that. This is tip number one. And today we're gonna be talking about oxytocin. Oxytocin is the social trust chemical. Now, imagine if you made a booking with the Marriott and instead of just a random welcome letter that confirms all the details, what if the president of Marriott got on a video and said, hey Beth Carson, I'm so excited you're coming to stay next week with us. We have a pool outside, we have a restaurant, and just gave me lots of details and really pumped up my excitement. Well, that's obviously not gonna happen because hotels are on a much larger scale. But you, as an owner, can just take your phone, do a quick little video, and send that off with them with the welcome information. My guests are blown away when that happens. Rightly so. I, I am showing that I care about their vacation so much that I'm gonna take time out of my day to welcome them personally, not a canned video. And it might be while I'm out and about if I've taken the booking. Um, it might be while I'm in my office. I make sure I'm not in my PJs or anything. Um, I do wanna look professional, but I don't have to look um, like I am sitting behind a desk typing all day. I can look like a real person. And they really appreciate that. And that gives them a surge of oxytocin and we feel connected. Um, and when they write back to me and say, thanks, wow, we were so blown away by that, then I get a surge of oxytocin. Now, what you wanna do for these videos, let me give you a very practical hint is you wanna upload them to YouTube. And a lot of times you can do that straight from your phone, but you wanna set the listing to unpublished. There's private, unpublished, and public. Maybe they're the other way around. Um, what happens with that unpublished, What happens with that unlisted setting? Is anybody with that link can view it, but you're not filling your page with the same old, same old, and Amy goes on your YouTube channel and sees, oh, Brianna got the same welcome email that I did. Um, so it's not available to the public. When you make it private, only the people you invite can do it, but with the unlisted, they can share that video with everybody in their party and get everybody really pumped up. Or they can say, um, you know, hey mom, look where we're going on vacation and look what the owner did for us. Um, you know, so somebody who is even not going um, can get excited about it too. Now, there are two other tips I have for you today. One is on social media. Now, have you ever walked into a store or maybe a hotel lobby and there's no one around. Maybe there are two employees and they're talking to amongst themselves and they completely ignore you. Your oxytocin levels are very low and you're very unhappy. On social media, when people respond to a post that you've made and you don't thank them or engage with them, that is essentially ignoring them. So I ask that you check into your Facebook at least once a day and that you post probably four to five times a week 
almost always with a video or a photo. The only time I don't do that is when I get an incredible review and I'll just say, these guests just got back and this is why I love what I do. And I'll just post the review. But 90% of your posts should have a photo and, or a video. And ask a question. You know, like my last post was a picture of the pool in Fiji and it says, who wants to be here now? Well, of course, everybody's going to say me, me, I do, I do, and maybe tag people. If you have a really active page, that'll happen. Now, you might have a very inactive page and you may be building your following and that is perfectly fine. All I'm asking is that you, if you do get a message on Facebook, because some people really don't use their emails anymore. The the younger crowd, um, my daughter doesn't check her email and she's 19. She, she does all Facebook messaging. So some of them might ask you a question via Facebook and it may go unanswered and even unseen for months. So you need to make sure that you have the Facebook app on your phone, page manager app, and that you check in with it daily, at least once a day. It's okay if it goes a few hours, you know, 12 hours and they're not answered, um, but do not ever leave anybody hanging, showing excitement, showing interest, and then there's just a big nothing. The third tip, and what do you think I'm gonna talk about when we talk about social um, proof, social trust, Chief, there's a company and they focus on what other people have to say about properties around the world. It's called TripAdvisor. People care what you say about your place. They care much more about what other people have to say about your place. So now that TripAdvisor, Flipkey, which is owned by TripAdvisor, HomeAway, VRBO, all these places have a venue for past guests to write and say what they really thought about your vacation rental. Now, sometimes it's lovely and all you wanna just say is thank you, you were a fabulous guest and we hope to have you back again. Other times they've maybe said, maybe given you a four star review, said some things were great, this could have been a little bit better. You know, let's say there was mold in the bathroom. So you wanna make sure you address that and say thank you so much for making me aware of that. We had the maids go in immediately, it is completely taken care of. Um, and let them know that that concern was taken care of. Now, four, a four star review is the average for TripAdvisor. So don't fall on your sword if you get a four star review. If you have a string of five star reviews and you have a four star review, it actually makes people believe the reviews are true. So it's okay to get a four star review. Now, if you get a three star or below, you need to take that seriously. I have written an entire chapter in my book, Money Making Vacation Rentals, and the expanded edition has online resources, and I've got a coupon code below for $20 off. It, it retails for $39.95. With this coupon code, you can get $20 off. So for $19.95, you have a wealth of knowledge, plus you've got videos on Facebook marketing and all sorts of other things. So, responding to a negative review is more than I can teach you in a 10 minute video. So get the book um, and I have actually been hired to craft a response to a very negative review and that's in the book. I show what the person wrote and then how I responded. And as an owner, the last thing you wanna do is be defensive. So here's the best piece of advice I can give you, is you are no longer talking to that guest. They have written you off, they have done their thing and they've moved on. You are talking to every single future potential guest for a decade, two decades. So you want that response to be flawless. Do not make the mistake of responding the same day or even the next day. And what you wanna do 
is come across as kind, competent, and caring. And so if they did have valid issues, you want to thank them. Um, if they didn't let you know about this during their stay, you want to express dismay that you didn't have the opportunity to fix the um, the the broken shower in one of the bathrooms um, and that you would have had somebody out there within two hours if they had only let you know and you still want to have a welcoming tone no matter how snarky they get and they can get snarky and essentially if you have a string of good reviews and somebody gets snarky people will roll their eyes at it you still want to take this up as an opportunity to show off what a great owner you are, but don't respond in the moment and have somebody else look at your response, craft it in words so it doesn't accidentally get sent off and ask them, is there anything in this that sounds defensive? And if it is, don't question it, just take it, take it out. Because this is, this is somebody, you know, not a spouse, but somebody who, it, who cares about you, but um, isn't involved in the situation and doesn't have the same skin in the game that you do. So, three actionable tips for today. Make a video and make it unlisted, but respond to every inquiry and booking with a video, a quick video of you naming them by name, um, answering their questions. If it's a honeymoon, say, oh, congratulations on your upcoming wedding. You have so many details to think about. I'm so excited that you've, um, you're considering Starfish Blue for your honeymoon. Let me tell you why it would make a great experience. For a honeymoon um, and then talk about things to do in the area because remember they're not just coming for your house they're coming for the area and then they're selecting down to a house then on Facebook social media make sure you respond to things and um, you know post photos and videos and then on reviews you want to thank people for kind reviews and you want to handle um, negative reviews with tender loving care because you're talking to the future. You're not talking to the past guest anymore. Thank you so much for joining us, joining me on this video series. Next week is video number three, and we're gonna talk about serotonin.